Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Verb Circus. My name's Kyle Miller, and I'm here with two great guests. Two guests with a very high level of English who have done a great job. Well, they did a great job yesterday, and I'm sure it's going to be a great show today. First, we have Jesus in the red. You're back. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good, good. So, hey, Juice, what's your prediction for today? What's going to happen on the show today? Well, I hope to do it better. A little better. <laughs> a little. You did well, though, but then what, yeah. was your, what was your problem yesterday? I was thinking about my teachers. Because <laughs> some of the mistakes that I made, I said, oh my God, I think they are going to kill me. But you did very well, but then you, yeah. you I, I think you made three mistakes in the speed round with the questions. So you got to be careful yeah. with those questions and the auxiliary verbs, right? Do you know how many times have they corrected me? They, those you know mistakes? how many times they have corrected me? Yeah. Yeah. Probably a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then we have Begonia. How are you doing, Begonia? Good. <laughs> good, and Begonia, you've got a great score coming into today's show. You're looking good. And uh, Begonia, I understand you like to sing. What can you tell us about your singing? <laughs> uh, a little, as you, as you say in Spain, a little bird told me. A little no. bird told me that you like to sing. I like to sing in English. Ah, It's yes. a good way to practice. Uh huh. Yeah, because sometimes you have to say and do, and then you have to control. Ah. So when I'm when I drive to work or drive back home, I sing as loud. Great. When I'm driving on my own, of course, uh -huh. and then I practice my English that way. Good, great, good idea, good idea. Practicing with singing, great. All right, let's take a look at our scores before we start. Let's see where our competitors stand in terms of scores, and we have Jesus with 35 points. And Begonia already with 140. That's a great score, Begonia. Looking good to get started. Well, let's start the show off the way we always do, ladies and gentlemen, by choosing our verb of the day. Look at that, phrasal verbs with turn. What do you think of that, Jesus? I think we did yesterday. Oh, it may seem that way, but you know what? With turn, there are a lot of phrasal verbs, so this is part two. We're gonna continue with more phrasal verbs with turn. Right, even more, right? So you have another chance at it. But uh, first, Begonia, can you conjugate this verb for us? The verb yeah. to turn. It's to turn, turned, turned. Right, we could say every day I turn, yesterday I turned, lately I have turned. It's a regular verb, but we need to have that nice D sound, turned. Very good. All right, let's get started with our uses of today's verb. First, we're going to look at to turn over. To turn over, which is essentially to flip. Okay, so uh, Begonia, do you, do you cook Spanish omelet? Yes, I do. You, you say tortilla, right? Spanish mm -hmm. omelet. Okay, Jesus, ask her how many times she turns over the omelet when she's cooking it. How many times do you turn over the omelet when you are cooking? Mm. Only once. You turn it over once? Okay. Is that the best way to just turn it over once? If you know uh, how long it has to be cooking, yeah. yes. So because I turn it over two, maybe two times, that's because I don't know what I'm doing? <laughs> no, it's because you just need to turn it and get it well done the other okay. side again. All right, okay, okay. Now ask Jesus if he turns over eggs when he's frying them. Do you turn over eggs when you fry them? No, I don't turn over eggs when I'm frying. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a very, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a North American thing to, to turn over eggs, but I do that. Okay. Ask me if I can turn over an egg without breaking the yolk. Can you the turn yolk, which is the, the yema, right? The yellow part, la, la yema, the yolk. Can you turn over the eggs without breaking the With, yolk? Without what? Without breaking the yolk. Without breaking the yolk, yeah. Uh, probably 50% of the time. Probably half the time I flip it, I turn it over without breaking the yolk, and the other half the time I break it, unfortunately. Okay, to turn out. Next we have to turn out, which is to end as a final outcome. So Begonia, are you happy with the way the last show turned out? Yes, I'm very happy with the way the last show turned up, out. The way it turned out, turned out. Como salió? it turned out very well for you. It turned out very well for Begonia, didn't it, Jesus? Yes. It turned out very well for Begonia. Okay. Do you think this show will turn out well for you today? I'm not sure, but I'm going to do my best. Okay. I'm sure you will. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Finally, we have to turn into, which is to convert into or to become. So, 
my question is this, what can Bruce Wayne do? Do you know who Bruce Wayne is? No, I have not. Do you know who Bruce Wayne is? No. They he, he's the guy he can turn into. Bruce Wayne can turn into the Hulk. No, excuse me. Sorry, Bruce Wayne can turn into <laughs> Batman. I'm oh, sorry Batman. for all the comic okay. lovers out there. Bruce Wayne can turn into Batman. Um, Bruce Banner can turn into the Hulk. Who can who who can turn into Superman? Convertirse en. Who can turn into Superman? Do you know Begonia? I can't remember his name. It's Clark. Clark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clark. Clark Kent. Clark Kent. Okay. So give me a full <laughs> sentence. Clark Kent. Clark Kent. Kent can turn into Superman. Okay. Ask me who can turn into the Flash. Ask me. Kyle, who who can turn into Flash? The Flash. Into the Flash. The Flash. You know the Flash, the guy who runs very fast mm, in the yes, red. No. Ask me again. Kyle, who can turn into Flash? The Flash. Into the Flash. Yes. Barry Allen was his name. Barry Allen can turn into the Flash. So convertirse in to turn into. All right, great job. So we have some different uses there. A few new phrasal verbs. Let's put you to the test now in the translation challenge. All right, the translation challenge. Aquí estamos jugando por cinco puntos. Cinco puntos en cada respuesta. Okay, we're going to have, remember, the sentence in Spanish, three options in English. Okay, are you ready, guys? Yeah. Okay, they're ready. Let's hear number one. Tenía mis dudas, pero todo salió bien al final. Ah, me alegro. Hey, I had my doubts, but all turned out fine in the end. B. I had my doubts, but everything turned out fine in the end. And C. I doubted me, but it all turned out fine. Five seconds. All right, Jesus, he's got his answer. No, no. Through. He's I got didn't it. Send it. I get it. Okay, but do you, do you think you have the right answer this time? I hope so. Okay, I hope so too. What have you got for us? B. He says it's B. And Begonia? I'm me too, but I think I'm wrong. <laughs> well, she's doubting herself. Yeah. Do you I think, think B is the right answer, Jesus? Yes, I think so. He's confident, and he should be, because B is the oh, right good. answer. I had my <laughs> doubts. But everything turned out fine in the end. Can you read it for us, Jesus? I had my doubts, but everything turned out fine in the end. Good. And so remember, at home, siempre en voz alta. I had my doubts, but everything turned out fine in the end. All right, let's hear number two. Se hizo una película basada en el libro. Okay. A. The book was turned into a film. B. A movie was turned over from the book. And C. The book was turned into the movie. Okay. Begonia, what do you think? I think it's A. She says, I think it's A. And his is? She says A. Are you sure about this one? I think so. Okay. They're both confident. And at home, what do you think? Do you agree with them? I hope you do because they're both right for five points. Can you read it for us though, Begonia? Yes. The book was turned into a film. The book was turned into a film. A lot of, a lot of books are turned into films, right? A lot of films came from originally books, right? They were turned into films. Okay, let's hear number three. Todo el mundo se dio la vuelta para ver quién era. Mm. Darse la vuelta. Okay. A. Everybody turned around to see who it was. B. All turned around to see who it was. And C. Everyone turned around to see who was. Five seconds. Okay. Jesus, he's shuffling through. He got it there? Yes. Yeah, you remember, you gotta come up with it in the first five seconds. Yes, because I saw a different thing. <laughs> okay, what have, what have you got for us? I think it's C. Okay, he says C. And Begonia? I say A. Begonia says A. Hold it up there, hold it up there, Jesus. So C and A. Hmm. Who are you gonna trust? Well, the correct answer is in fact A. That's yeah. right, Begonia. That's yeah. Everybody turned around to see who it was. You can't say to see who was. See who was who was there. 
but to see who it was, Ganena. Can you read it for us, Jesus? Yes, everybody turned around to see who it was. Good, everybody turned around to see who it was. Good job. Let's hear number four. La rana se convirtió en príncipe cuando la princesa la besó. Mm. True story, true story. A, the frog turned to a prince when the princess kissed it. B, the frog, he turned into a prince when the princess kissed it. And C, the frog turned into a prince when the princess kissed it. All right, shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Begonia, have you got the answer for yes, us? Yes, yes, I think it's C. I think it's C, are you sure about that? Yes, I am. Okay, all right. <laughs> Me too. Jesus goes with C as well. We've got C's on the set, ladies and gentlemen, and they're both right for five points. So give yourself five points and a pat on the back if you got that one right. Can you read it for us, Begonia? Yes, the frog turned into a prince when the princess kissed it. That's right, the frog. And the princess kissed it. All right, very good. Well done. Let's take a look at our total scores after round one of the translation challenge. Let's see where they stand. We've got Jesus moving up with 50 points and Begonia, wow, already at 160. That's a great total. Good job, Begonia. Let's move on now to our other uses. Well, the show's called The Verb Circus, but sometimes we look at things that aren't verbs, and this is one of those times. This is a noun. It's the phrase, it would be a phrasal verb, but we're forming it as a noun as the turnout. The turnout, which is often to turn out as an outcome, the outcome, but often as attendance as well. We say the turnout at the stadium was very good. So, so the, the attendance. So, does Real Madrid always have a good turnout at the stadium? Yes, Real Madrid always have a good turnout at the stadium. Yeah, they always have a good turnout at the stadium. That's right. The stadium is always, well, is it always full? I don't, I don't know. Is it, is it always full, the Bernabeu Stadium? Yes, almost crowd. It's, it's almost always it's full. Almost. It's almost a sellout every time. Yes. So the turnout, meaning the attendance. So is the turnout usually good for football games in Spain? Yes, it is very good. Okay, yeah. Now, if okay, if they had an ice, a Canadian ice hockey game in Spain, would there be a good turnout? Would a lot of people from Madrid go to pay money to watch it? Do you think? Be honest with me. I don't think it would be a good. So turnout. give me give me a long answer. Yeah. Yeah. I, if um, if there was a hockey game. If there was a hockey game in Madrid, I don't think they would have a turnout. A good turnout. A good turnout. I think you're right. People don't really like hockey in, in uh, Spain the way we do in Canada. Yeah. I don't think there would be a good turnout. So here, the overall attendance, the turnout. Okay, the overall attendance is the turnout. Okay, so it's like the outcome in terms of attendance. Okay, let's move on now to our second round of the translation challenge. All right, here we are in round two of the translation challenge and the challenge is the same. It's exactly the same, except instead of five points, we're playing for 10. Are you ready? Yes. They're ready. Let's hear option, or example, I should say, number one. Resultó que el hombre de aspecto sospechoso era un periodista. Quite a sentence. A, it turned out that the suspicious looking man was a journalist. B, it turned out the suspicious man was journalist. C. The suspicious man turned into a journalist. <laughs> Jesus is laughing. Why, 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 why the grin, Jesus? Do you think it's obvious? No, no. Is, it e is this too easy for you, Jesus? No, I think it's a little <laughs> difficult. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. Okay, what, do, what have you got for us? I think it's A. I think it's A, okay. Do you agree with him? Yes, I do. Begonia agrees. Like that's say. a good thing. If Begonia agrees with yes, you, that's I a good think so. thing. <laughs> they both say A. And at home, yes, they're both yeah. right for 10 points. Good job. Make sure you're participating at home. Can you read it for us, Jesus? Yes, it turned out that the suspicious man was the a journalist. The suspicious looking man. That the suspicious looking man was a journalist. Was a journalist, yeah. Okay. And now let's hear number two. 
Las fotos salieron bastante bien. Ok. The photos came out quite well. B. The photos turned out quite well. And C. The pictures turned out really good. Ok. What do you think about this one, Begonia? I think it's B. You say it's B. All right. She's going with B. <laughs> B. Now you're smiling because you realize you got the same answer as Begonia yeah. because she tends to get them all right. And they're both right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yes, B. The B is the answer. The photos turned out quite well. Now, if you say the photos came out quite well, yeah. I would also give you five points for that. Ten points, excuse me, for that. Yeah, that would be fine. So A or B are both fine. They're both good answers for this. Okay, let's move on to number three. Cuando mis alumnos no hacen los deberes, me convierto en la masa. It's true. This is a true story. This is a true story. Yeah, <laughs> true sentence. Do you believe it, Jesus? I believe you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to find out. Okay, A, when my students don't do their homework, <clears throat> I turn into the Hulk. And B, when my students don't do their homeworks, I turn into the Hulk. And C, when my students don't make homeworks, I turn into the Hulk. Yes. <laughs> Begonia. I think it's A. She says, I think it's A. Okay, I think it's A. Hmm, what do you think? I think it's A too. A as well. Can you read it for us first, uh, Jesus? When my students don't do their homework, I turn into the Hulk. That's right, and that's the correct answer for 10 points. When my students don't do their homework, because remember, homework, no lleva S. There's no S. We cannot say homeworks. No, homework. So it has to be A. Correct, for 10 points. Good job. Let's hear our fourth and final example. Iba a llover, pero el tiempo resultó ser bueno. Ok. A. It was supposed to rain, but the weather turned out to be fine. B. It was supposed to rain, but the time turned out to be fine. And C. It was going to rain, but the weather turned out to be fine. You have five seconds. What do you think, Begonia? I don't know. I think two of them are the same. Yeah. Well. Oh, no, no, well, no. Well, okay, what okay. have you got for? Well, you got to show oh, us yeah. your answer. Okay. You got you, you to go with Yeah, yeah, got. okay. I, I got C. C? Mm -hmm. All right. And Mr. Jesus over there, he's thinking about it. He says A. Now, it's Iba. Iba a llover. Okay. Iba a llover, which is it was going to. Yeah. It's the past continuous, ladies and gentlemen. It was going to. So the correct answer is C. So Begonia, 10 points. Good. Wow. Moving on up. Yeah. Well done, Begonia. Can you read that for us, Jesus? C. Sorry. It was, it was, it was going, going to, to rain, rain. But, but the weather turned out to be fine. Again? It was going to rain, but the weather turned out to be fine. Good. It was going to rain, but the weather turned out to be fine. Okay. Great job, and remember to keep participating out loud at home. Let's take a look at our scores. After the second round of the translation challenge, we have Jesus with 80 points, and Begonia, oh my goodness, 200 points already. Well done, it's a very good score. Let's move on now to our expression of the day. All right, our expression of the day today is to turn over a new leaf. Do you know what this means? What is, a, what is a leaf, Jesus? A slice of bread? Well, typically, a, well, no, 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 a leaf is, is on a plant. Una, una hoja. Okay. An arbol. On a tree, right? A leaf. Mm -hmm. But to yes. turn over a new leaf, do you know what that means, Begonia? Something to do with spring? Well, no, not, not necessarily. Although a lot of people do it in spring, but to turn over a leaf means to adopt a new habit, to make some changes in your life. You could say, I'm going to turn over a new leaf. I'm not going to smoke anymore, and I'm not going to drink anymore, and I'm going to go to bed early. I'm going to turn over a new leaf. A lot of people make New Year's resolutions. Propositos del Año Nuevo, right? New Year's resolutions. 
Do you make New Year's resolutions? I always do. Yeah. <laughs> do you keep them or do you break them? I normally do. At the beginning, maybe not all the year, but yeah. at the beginning. I okay. Think. Okay. Ask Jesus if he's going to turn over a new leaf. Are you going to turn over a new leaf? Yes, I'm going to turn over a new leaf. Okay. And so what are you going to do to turn over a new leaf? To keep all the things that I would like to do. Do all the things that you like to do. All right. Yeah. Do more things for yourself? Yes. That's good. Okay, well done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to move on now to the speed round. Ah, uh, yes, the speed round. Everybody loves the speed round, right? So remember, pay attention. It's a quick few minutes here. I'm going to give you the answer to the question. Te voy a dar la respuesta y tú en casa le pregunta, pidiendo la información que sale en rojo en pantalla. All right, remember, we'll have two minutes at first. Remember to press the buzzer after I say go, and then you can ask the question. Whew, let's get our time up there. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's start the clock. I think sales will turn around in the spring. Go. Begonia. When do you think sales will turn around? Repeat, please. When do you think sales will turn around? Very good. That's good for 10 points. When do you think sales will turn around? So they're going down and they start going up, for example. Next example. The chef turned it over three times. Go. Begonia again. How many times did the chef turn it over? Good. Repeat one more time. How many times did the chef turn it over? Good. How many times did the chef turn it over? Three times. Very good. Next example. The ice turned into water. Go. Begonia. What did the ice turn into? Sorry. What did the ice turn into? One more time. What did the ice turn into? Okay, and with a nice question into it. What did the ice turn into? What did the ice turn into? Good. That's good for 10 points. What did the ice turn into? Very good. Next example. They turned around just past the gas station. Go. Jesus. Where did they turn around? Correct. That's good for 10 points. Where did they turn around? One more time, Jesus. Where did, where did they turn around? Good. Where did they turn around? Good. Next example. I would turn it over if the bottom were burning. Go. I would, I would turn it over. Excuse me. I would turn it over if the bottom were burning. Go ahead. What would you do if the bottom were burning? Okay, correct. Correct. What would you do if the bottom were burning? Very good. Next example. It will turn out to be a disaster if it rains tomorrow. Go. Begonia. What will it turn out if it rains tomorrow? What will it turn out to be? I'm afraid, I'm afraid not. Minus 10, pass or play. It will turn out to be a disaster. You can play. Play. You can play. What have you got for us? What will it turn out to be if it rains tomorrow? Okay, correct. I'm going to give you the points. You could also say, how will it turn out? How will it turn out if it rains tomorrow? Or what will it turn out to be a disaster? So we'll give you 10 points there at the end. 10 more for Jesus. Let's take a look at our total scores here after the first two minutes of the speed round. Let's see where they stand. Jesus moved up to 100. That's a good score. 100 points. But Begonia with 230. Fantastic. Okay, you're both doing very well, but it's not over yet. We still have another minute, ladies and gentlemen. So let's put another minute up there on the clock. And get that minute up there, and we're going to continue. Okay, let's go. Clark Kent can turn into Superman. Go. Begonia. Who can turn into Superman? Repeat one more time. Who can turn into Superman? Yeah, and with the question, who can turn into Superman? Who can turn into Superman? Very good. Okay, next example. Correct. Next example. It turned out better than expected. Go. Begonia. How did it turn out? Repeat. How did it turn out? Correct. How did it turn out? How did it turn out? Very good. Next example. I've already turned over the omelette twice. Go, Begonia. How many times have you already turned uh, over the omelette? One more time. How many times have you already turned over the omelette? Correct. Wow. <laughs> That's good. How many times have you already turned over the omelette? Incredible. Great job. Next example. John turned into a real gentleman. Go, Jesus. Who, turn, who turned into a, re, into a real gentleman? Good, that's good for 10 points. 
Who turned into a real gentleman? John. Who turned into a real gentleman? Good. John did. Okay, very good. Let's take a look at our final scores for our second program. Let's see where they stand here. We have Jesus with a total of 110. And Begonia, oh my goodness, 260 points. That's a great total, Begonia. You're doing a great job. And while we're finished for today, I want to thank you for watching and participating in the show, keeping score at home. And remember, podéis volver a concursar con las mismas preguntas del programa de hoy aquí mismo en nuestra página web, aprendeingles.com. Lots of great stuff on that website. I've got some prizes here, as always, for our guests. I'm going to go give them these gifts right now. Great job. Great job. You picked one up right at the, the buzzer there, right at the end. Yeah, yeah. Great job. Thank great you. Job. Our guest today will be taking home the Verb Circus Volume 2 on CD from our friends at Vaughn Radio. You can get your copy today at baugantienda.com. They've done a great job. Great thank job. You. Thank and thanks you. to you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Verb Circus. Bye bye.